Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to manage the bandwidth that is being used by um, persons watching YouTube videos. Um, what we'll be doing is we'll be creating some Mongo rules and also I'll be showing you how to create a, a queue tree for YouTube. So we're going to go over to the firewall and we're going to add a layer 7 uh, protocol regex that will be able to that will be used to identify YouTube traffic uh, this code can be found on my website and I will put a link in the description so we're going to call this uh, rule YouTube and that's okay and then we're going to create some manga rules so first rule that we're going to create so let, we're going to change this to forward and the in interface will be the one interface uh, but for my interface my interface my one interface is, is named bonding one but if yours your one interface is one w one one you can choose that so whatever the interface is that is going to your modem that's the interface that you should put here next we're going to go to advanced and for layer 7 protocol we're going to choose youtube that was the same uh, layer 7 protocol that that we had created go to action and then we're going to mark this connection so we're going to call it youtube and it's a download it's a download connection so let's put that there I'm going to put a comment on it okay okay next we're going to mark all the packets that that comes through this connection so we're going to change of connection mark to YouTube action mark packets I'm going to call this YouTube download uh, packets. I'm going to add a comment. Uh, for this, we're not going to do a pass through. Okay. So now we're going to create a rule for upload for the upload connection. So we're going. To, so the in, in in interface is the bridge. Our uh, or ensure that the chain is pre-routing for layer 7 protocol we're going to select YouTube also action we're going to mark connection we're going to call this YouTube up connection ok apply and then we're going to create we're going to mark those the packets that are uploaded so we're going to change this to forward and then the connection mark would be YouTube up action mark packets I'm going to call this YouTube up packets and take off pass through and I'm going to add a comment okay all right, so see a bit of traffic going through that. Next, we're going to head over to queues, and then we're going to go to queue tree. We're going to create two queues. So we'll call this YouTube down download and parent we leave that global and the marking would be YouTube download packet uh, we can also set a max a max limit and the max limit would be say for instance you want to allocate say uh, 8 megabits per second to it can apply 
okay and then we're going to create one now for upload and for the marking we're going to select YouTube upload and for the limit say for instance I'm going to set this to say 512 okay oh another thing thing um, is the queue type so for this this is the upload I'm going to use the PCQ default up and then you can actually choose a priority that you want um, these traffic to have okay I'm going to go back to the previous one because I didn't select this was for the download yes I need to change the queue to PCQ download and let's, let's put a caps here just to sort the rules okay all right I'm going to just expand this so you can see much better all right now I'm going to go to YouTube and we have have some videos here all right I'm going to play this one and uh, you see the traffic going over the queue so the average traffic is just 2.8 megabytes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the quality to 4k all right and now you're seeing where it's um, the traffic to YouTube is currently being queued because it has maxed out at at 8 um, megabits per second and you realize the video is still trying to load so you can tweak this according to your needs um, so you see it's queuing so, so the users who are watching YouTube the connection speed will not pass the limit that you have set so that is how you go about managing the bandwidth utilization by YouTube uh, this is a this can be applied to other websites or web services um, so that's it if you have a question uh, please leave a comment if you like this video please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so thanks for watching.